Track Town USA, day seven of the US Olympic track and field team trials. And everybody trying to get a little bit of shade wherever they can at this amazing $200 million plus stadium to watch people like Rye Benjamin run in the final. Yes, there are three Olympic spots up for grabs in the men's 400 hurdles. Only two men in history have run faster in this event. He got the silver medal at the last World Championships. But he's looking this year like anything is possible. The world leader. And remember Grant Holloway, there's a gap between him and the performance of everybody else in that field. There's a gap between him and everybody else in this field. And in front of him in lane six, that's Kenny Selman, had the fastest time in the prelims and the finals. In 2018, he was the U.S. champ. He was plagued with injuries in 2019. One of the athletes that the off year 2020 really benefited. He's looking in great shape. And in lane seven, it's the 21 year old Cameron Samuel. He's third fastest in this field, the 2021 Pac 12 champion. He'll start in lane seven. And this is wide open for opportunity, folks. There is not a single Olympian in this field. There will be three new Olympians at the end of this race. Well, it's wide open behind Rye. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, true. True. I feel like he has something special in store today, guys. I do. He watched these trials in 2012 and 2016 on television, dreaming to be here. He's here now, and there's an Olympic spot waiting for him. Rye Benjamin with that white headband. Center of your screen. Let's go. He waited to be able to represent the United States, and now he is on the path to doing that. Very conservative through the first three hurdles. On the outside, that's roster that's gone out very hard. Second from the left. I expected Wright to be a lot more aggressive in this first part of the race, but I'm thinking he's going to turn it on here and really stake his claim, which he's done right on cue. And what will he run this final 200 meters in? His friend and former roommate, Michael Norman, has made the team, and he said, that really fired me up. This and now he's fired up. The trials record is 47-37. Let's see how quick he goes. 46-84. That's almost a world and American record. Didn't I tell you something special was coming? That's the second fastest time ever run. Only the world record is faster. Rye Benjamin turns it on at the trials on his way to Tokyo. And he looked so easy for the first 200. He didn't go to his guns until the final 200 meters of the race. But when he did, he went with everything that he had, and he completely separated from this field. What a dominant performance by the young superstar who is on his way to his first Olympics, Ry Benjamin. So let's give some credit to Joanna Hayes and the rest of the staff at USC. They have prepared this young man. He was injured going into the World Championships two years ago. Made no excuses, ran, got the silver. He just stamped himself as the favorite for Olympic gold now. So going with him to Tokyo, Kenny Selman and David Kenzera with second and third. Top three get those Tokyo spots. But how about that? And, and Rice saying, I was that close to a new world record. Oh, I think he'll be back. He's going to have some more shots at it. And Sonia told you, the first half, very conservative. And then it's almost as though he hit the 200-meter mark and said, OK, let's get busy. And he's looking up at the clock, running at this pace. Literally, Otto, if he just adjusts the front part of his race, just goes out even the first 50. The world record is his. I don't know if he thought he was on pace to run this fast today. Sometimes when you're running at your best, it feels so easy. I remember when I broke the American record, I couldn't believe it. I was like, that was 48.70? It's the same way he looked today, completely under control. An American record. Well, Sonia, coaches will tell you, your best efforts feel the easiest. And I'm sure if you ask Ryan Benjamin, did you get a sense you were on that kind of pace? He'd say, well, I knew I was going fast. I didn't know I was going that, that fast. fast. Second best, best ever, Ryan Benjamin. And there is Joanna Hayes, Olympic champion at 100 meter hurdles, congratulating Ryan Benjamin. And speaking of big names, Edwin Moses, 1988 trials record has fallen. 
to the hands of Rai Benjamin with that 46-83. Look at the Olympic rings next to the three. Rai Benjamin, Kenny Selman, David Kenziera, they're off to Tokyo, Lewis. They are off to Tokyo. First time Olympians, all three. Rai, first of all, congrats on the win, but the time was so close. Were you going for the world record here? No, I was just trying to make the team. I know I was going to run 46 because of how I felt in the rounds, but I was just trying to see how, how low over 46 I can go, but, you know, I wish I broke the world record, but it's all right. It's all right, I'll take it. You are going with your, your buddy and teammate, Michael Norman. What yeah. will that be like to be on the team it's with special. him? Special, special, real special. I saw him do it last week, and that really inspired me, and uh, you know, I'm just happy, man. I'm so freaking happy right now. Uh, it means a lot, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And your teammate, Kenny Selman. Kenny, you uh, had to deal with the COVID year being off last year, but for somehow it worked out for you. Explain how and what the moment means. Yeah, it worked out. Um, I switched coaches, actually, the year before COVID. And, you know, they always say don't switch coaches and let the gear. But it worked out. I had an extra year with my coach. So I got more time to train, more time to understand his system. And it worked. I was ready last year, but now, I mean, this is unreal. I, I can't even find the words right now. And I wonder if David can find some words. In 2016, you were out in the semifinals. Right. Here you are now, a first-time Olympian. What do you think? I mean, it's incredible. You know, I had one word in my vocabulary. I was believe, believe in yourself, you get through the rounds, survive in advance, make it to, uh, make it to Tokyo. And that vocabulary worked. Gentlemen, congratulations. Yes, sir. Lee? Hey, nothing better than going to the Olympics at the trials with personal bests. One, two, and three.